India and, and our payments business. Uh, you have the slide uh, behind me where I think all of you guys know us at the kind of disruption that's happening in India, right? If you look at UPI, UPI is about 46% of global IP. That's how big it is. If you look at P2P inwards, India receives about 120 billion, which is more than 50% of the total P2P inwards. If you look at Swift growth, you look at e-commerce growth, you look at all of those parameters, everything in India is expanding at about uh, more than 50%, right? So it's obviously right that we get all of our new age products to India, and that is what we're gonna be talking to you about in the next 20 minutes. I think it's also crucial that, uh, that when we start talking about new age clients, we're talking about their new needs, then it cannot be product specific. I think we're looking at the entire commerce continuum, and there are four sets of the commerce continuum that we have, right? The first part is accept, accepting money, accepting payments, accepting orders. The second part would be hold, uh, you hold liquidity through various solutions. They can be e-commerce solutions, and then liquidity management and real-time liquidity management is a key part of it. The third one is pay, instant payments, cross-border payments, real-time cross-border payments. That's the third leg. And the fourth leg being finance, right? Obviously, all of our, uh, in India, there's a lot of, lot of finance that, uh, that can be done more. So obviously, it's a big part of what we want to do in India. Now, if you look at the four, four products that we're going to be talking to you about, it's actually very well positioned for one in each, right? Our Spring by City solution that we recently launched, our partnership with Pine Labs just at about two o'clock, I think that is what will help all of our enterprise clients to be able to collect in a very omni-channel convenient manner. Our Payment Express, which across IMPS, UPI, uh, and we're even expanding it to NEFT as well, would give us the scale, the TPS, absolutely brand new uh, platform from pay perspective. When we talk about hold, I think with everything that's happening real time, and India, I think, has taken instant gratification to another level, right? So from that perspective, real time liquidity management, absolutely core, which, which again is going live in India in, in the coming months. And then fourth, from a finance perspective, I think uh, we have a supply, supply onboarding seniors over here, where from a London perspective, uh, who are based out of London, have specially flown in to, to launch this product where a really new age platform for supplier analysis, supplier onboarding, to streamline that entire journey. So those are the four products that we're gonna be talking to you guys about. We'll take about four minutes uh, for each of them, and overall take about 20, 25 minutes. With that, I'll, I'll request Sahil to come on stage, take you guys through uh, a SkyFi kind of a demo on Payment Express, but yeah, over to you, Sahil. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a real honor to stand before you today at Global Fintech Fest, a gathering that celebrates innovation and progress, shaping the future of payments in a country as promising and vibrant as India. India has seen a significant disruption in the digital payment, and with initiatives like UPI, we have made payments faster, seamless, and more accessible. UPI has truly democratized the payment systems in this country with giving access to millions of people and getting them into the digital fold, creating a new benchmark for the world. At City, we do recognize the potential that this growth represents. And as our payment systems and as our clients demand more from our payment systems, we are ready not only to exceed, but not only to meet, but rather to exceed their expectations. Today, I introduce to you City Payment Express, a payment platform which has been built to solve the evolving needs of the digital first world. What do clients really require from their payment systems today? They want their payment systems to be available 24 by 7, 365 days a year. They want that each and every payment is processed successfully 100% of the time, and they want these payments to be processed in less than a couple of seconds. This is what Payment Express delivers. This is what we have built the system to cater to. Payment Express has been built with high capacity, low latency, and high availability at its core, which allows our client to accept, hold, and pay at scale. With Payment Express, we'll be able to give our clients 99.99% uptime, and it is scalable up to 5,000 TPS, and we promise our clients to process their payments in less than two to three seconds. This is the power and prowess of the system that we have built. Uh, while I have spoken about Payment Express. I think now is the time to show you the magic that we have created in form of this system. 
what you see right now on your screen is a UI of a gig economy app, right? Where uh, the gig economy player is allowing their earners to basically redeem their salary real time on demand. Once, we, once he selects the amount that he needs to withdraw, let's say $20 in this case, and the moment he presses the button, make withdrawal, that's when the real magic happens, right? We have done it, we have processed the transaction in less than a second for this particular client and for this customer. His earner would have received this salary or this tip into his account in less than a second. This is the power of the system that we have created. You must be thinking processing one payment at a time is not really a big deal, right? <coughs> now, I'll take you to what happens when there are multiple clients processing multiple payments at the same time. Okay. Yes, what you can see on your screen right now is basically four industry players from varied industry. First is a gig economy industry driver payout. Second is an automobile industry wanting to make a real time incentive payouts to the dealer and the mechanics. The fourth one is basically a validation aggregator doing bulk validations for the account. And the last is a marketplace client who's wanting to make merchant payouts in real time. And as you can see, they can have varied TPS requirements ranging from 10, 20, 40 to 50, right? And as they, are pro as, as they are processing transactions, you can see that we have been able to process at transaction at a capacity of 110 seconds, 110 TPS, and each of these transactions are getting successfully processed in less than one second. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what Payment Express really is capable of delivering for our clients. It is a gateway to the digital future for our clients. With that, I would like to hand it back to Navan. Thank you. Folks, I think uh, one of the key things that I would want to add is that uh, that was not a video. That was all real-time, live production, demo environment. And that is exactly across all of our clients, whether it's marketplace, PIs, uh, corporates going to D2C, across IMPS, UPI, fully 365, uh, 365 days, 24 by 7, we want to enable for all of our clients. Now, move on to the second product, which, uh, which again, whether it is net banking, UPI, IMPS, wallets, any kind of collection mechanism, we would be able to serve through all of that uh, through Spring by City. I would like to uh, invite Kashif, who heads Spring by City as a product, to take you guys through Spring by City. Thank you, Naman. So, uh, yeah. so whenever you are doing an online transaction, the lesser the click, it is better. Lesser the click, it is better, right? Uh, we all are here from a payment industry right now. We are closely related to payment industry. Uh, we all know whenever there is a streamlined direct customer customer interface, uh, it is directly interlinked with the customer acquisition and customer retention. We at the same time also know that this is one of the most difficult technology to build in the market. This can be further proved by the fact that the global acquirers which are out there, they are not being able to make inroad in market like India. More the local payments are, more difficult it is to make a payment uh, acceptance solution. That's what said, my name is Kashif Mullah. I'm going to take you through Spring by City, which is our newest pearl in the services business, which is touted as crown jewel by our CEO, Jane Fraser. Having said that, so, the idea was very simple here. The idea was to provide a payment acceptance solution to enterprise customers. <coughs> what makes, it, it's a really special solution, how it is executed. What has been done here is that Spring by City is an end-to-end uh, services offering under transaction banking services under one centralized relationship with various fintech partners delivering globally at scale. What does it mean, right? Spring by City is not only integrated to city cash management services, it also provides payment ubiquity, it provides end-to-end -end reconciliation, and it's also deeply locally expertise. So payment, Spring by City is not uh, only accepting solution, or it's not only providing an acceptance solution, but also providing uh, our customer an end-to-end -end reconciliation tool. How does it work? If you see the next slide, with the launch, it, with the launch of Spring by City in India, now we are live in 25 countries, right? What Spring by City will provide you a single API, which will accept all your transaction across all the geographies, be it India, be it Brazil, be it US, or, or be it UK. 
it is built in such a way that the client will have only one API sitting in front of them and there will be multiple collection methods sitting behind of them, right? I've, uh, going further, how will, how will it will work in India? So what will happen in India is that when we are providing Spring by City, the entire collection solution suite will be at the front end and there will be various collection product processors sitting in behind. So for example, City Payment Express, which just Sahil mentioned, will be sitting behind Spring by City providing UPI acquiring solution. At the same time, we will have fintech partners who will be providing card solution, net banking solution, making it truly uh, an in invisible payment experience to our corporate client. Right? With that said, uh, I would like to introduce to you now Spring by City with, with the play, play of a short video. Thank you, everyone. That was just a glim glimpse of what the product is to go going to be offered. Now I'll hand it over back to Naman for taking you ahead. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Kashif. And uh, I think, guys, it's just right that, uh, that in all fintech bank conversations, the question comes that whether banks and fintechs are competing or whether they're collaborating. I think through Spring by City, a completely white-labeled solution, uh, which, we have of, which we are through a fintech partnership offering, uh, I think that question should get answered once and for all. And I think banks at all points of time are looking at build or collaborate. And whenever for our clients, the right thing is to be able to collaborate with fintechs, stitch solutions together to provide a holistic solution, then that's exactly what we are doing. Next on, and again, like we talk about a uh, lot, of, lot of the innovation stuff happening on the payment side, it's absolutely critical that the investments and innovation that in services that we are doing is across all product verticals. That is where I think when the finance side of the continuum comes in, we're looking at new age digital platforms such that the power of data uh, from a supplier analysis perspective, supplier onboarding perspective can be completely streamlined. And that is where I would request Elias to take you through uh, our new age uh, onboarding solution. Elias is our global head of uh, suppliers and uh, over to him to take you through. Thank you, Norman. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, guys. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for being back home. I'm based out of London, so it feels great. Uh, in today's session, we will be covering the city supply chain finance digital experience. Before we go there, when it comes to supply chain finance, as many of you would know, city commands 24% of the market share globally. And almost more than 50% of the market share of supply chain finance in North America. We are massive. We are really big. We process almost a billion dollar plus of invoices every day in our supply chain finance system. It's great. It's, you know, we, are, we, are, we are leaps and bounds ahead of our competition. But when it comes to city, city never sleeps. We do not rest. We keep investigating and keep exploring the new technology enhancement, new technology, new solutions. And now we have come out with the complete new re-engineered supplier onboarding experience that starts with uh, supplier analysis. What does it mean when buyer gives us a, fee, uh, you know, a list of suppliers, which supplier to go after, you need a lot of analytics out of it. Which supplier is smaller, which supplier is bigger, SME, which locations. We work in almost 100 plus locations. So getting data from all these locations to give the right analytics to the buyer so that they are able to select the right supplier is extremely important. This is the first step 
which we have kind of completely automated. We have got database from all over the world where we can quickly upload, buyer can quickly upload a file, we can do the analytics and go back to the buyer and say, okay, fine, these are the list of suppliers you should go for, first instance, which is massive, massive, massive upgrade from a manual exercise which many people do. All the way from there to the supplier onboarding. So the experience from supplier analysis to the supplier onboarding, where the supplier is digitally onboarded in all those 100 plus locations, we have completely digitized. There's not even a single place somebody has to take out a pen and manually print out a document and kind of you know sign it and upload. It depends on the location, of course. But this whole experience of two years of hard work and money which we have put into it, and we have completely revamped, re-engineered the whole uh, supplier analysis and supplier onboarding, which we would want to cover in more detail when we do the product launch in the booth. But as of now, a small video will help uh, to understand what we have developed in over a period of time. A leading bank in supplier finance for more than two decades, Citi provides digital payable solutions across the working capital cycle in over 95 countries and transacts in more than 140 currencies. Citi's supplier finance program connects buyers and suppliers across Citi's network via its digital banking platform, Citi Direct, making it easier to do business in global and local markets. City's proprietary analysis tool leverages City's global network and financial. Thank you, Les. Not sure about you guys, but that truly felt like uh, nirvana to me in terms of all the suppliers' uh, pain points getting resolved through this platform. So we've spoken about two payment innovations. We've spoken about one, uh, one trade innovation. Rightfully, spo rightfully so, we have to speak about the whole, whole leg of the money, right? Because with everything that's instant gratification, everything that's IP growth, uh, if you speak to any of the treasurers, one of the biggest pain points that they have these days is about how do they manage their liquidity in the most efficient manner, and how can real-time liquidity management really support the real-time instant payments growth. So that is where our, our next solution from a real-time liquidity management is a critical uh, piece to our treasurers. And I'd like to invite Jake, Jake Chatterjee, who takes care of liquidity products, uh, to present the next solution. Thank you, Laman. And good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's an absolute privilege to be standing here in front of you to take this showcase forward. But before we take this forward, let's take a brief look back upon all the solutions we've discussed till now. One common theme that you would find across all of them is an intention to make it instantaneous and seamless experience for our clients, right? But if you ask the treasurers, as Naman alluded to, what makes it seamless and instantaneous for them? They would probably refer to a real-time liquidity platform, backing up all the other solutions which are on offer. So uh, what does, uh, and why is it required is very simple. Uh, treasuries these days are very complex uh, organizations. They manage, uh, uh, complex corporate structures with their regulatory compliance and management. They manage the payments instantaneous, high volume payments for them. Uh, they manage the returns, enhancement of returns through yields and investments, as well as minimizing the borrowing cost for all of them. To manage all of these though, is where our solution comes in, which is the real-time liquidity product suite. It works on three fronts. Uh, firstly, it parameterizes the requirements of our clients and it automates all of the execution for them. And lastly, it ensures visibility to all of our clients on the status of their accounts on a real-time basis. There are similar solutions, of course, which we have also had previously. So what really differentiates this particular solution from everything else that we have had? I'll probably highlight a few things. Some of these are there, of course, uh, behind me, but I'll probably highlight a few. Them through features such as interest reallocation, uh, borrowing and lending limits, uh, automatic settlement. Uh, apart from that, there is the visibility and the configuration that we allow. Clients have the ability to modify their cash pooling structures themselves according to their requirements in certain cases on an ad hoc basis on a day-to-day -day basis as well. And lastly, while all of these are well and good, there is always a requirement to support it on, in terms of reporting, enhanced reporting, to ensure there is a requisite audit trail for all of this. Right? So enough said on this. Uh, I think if I may request to just take a look at the video that we have for it. To stay competitive in a real-time world, businesses need agile liquidity solutions that can mobilize available cash in real-time 
and automate funding of payments and investments. I would love to invite uh, Santosh Tujari on stage. She's our uh, TTS uh, head for the India subcontinent, transaction services head. And I would love to get her thoughts for a few minutes on how these four solutions come together for the new age clients and, uh, and the whole client perspective to these products. Post that, we'll take five minutes of Q&A as well. Now you guys can clap. This is definitely no discussion. Uh, all the work and jazz has been done. So I just want to take the opportunity to thank uh, each one of you uh, for attending the first ever product showcase that City has done at the GFF. Uh, all the four products that we have uh, showcased today actually align very closely with the core priorities of our treasury and trade solutions business. Uh, if I were to just call out some of these priorities, we, we want to be a strategic partner in the treasury transformation and business growth journeys of our clients. Uh, we want to harness the power of digital to bring global solutions across 95 countries. We want to roll out bespoke working capital optimization solutions for our clients and also co-create with clients to advance ESG goals. And last but not the least, we want to power e-commerce through innovative use cases. So if you look at it holistically, all of City's digital priorities, the business growth journeys of our clients, and what the government is doing on the policy and initiatives that the government is taking are all very closely and intrinsically linked. What we hope to do is the products and the solutions that we've launched today, we hope to embed them in our customers' journeys so that our customers can leverage them for their business growth and also for business efficiency for years to come. So thank you once again, and uh, uh, this is quite a crowd, so we're very happy <laughs> with, the, with the turnout. And uh, uh, please do visit our booth uh, and hope to connect with you more, and we can talk more about the products that we have showcased. So thank yeah. you all for being here. Folks, I think we had planned for a, for a Q&A, but I think we're running out of time. We're there from A7, A8 booth, so we would love to speak to all of you guys. It's a wonderful crowd. Uh, thank you for being a wonderful audience, patient audience. Uh, it's heartening to see the room uh, full and people standing behind. Uh, would love to interact more. Thank you very much, guys.